Hey gang, I was asked a question the other day about what's the difference between carb cycling and counting your macros. And uh, a little bit of each is going on. Uh, well, let me, let me correct that. Uh, counting your macros, we'll start there, is exactly that. How many grams of protein? How many grams of carbs? How many grams of fat? Protein, fat, carbs. Okay. Once you add all that up and we know how many calories a gram of each are, you're going to get your daily calorie count. Break that down, you're back to how many macros. Okay, That's an easy way to get in all your nutrients during the day. Now, you've probably heard people say, if it fits your macros. And, and personally, what I'm seeing from that a lot of times, the excuse and the following that is, I can eat crap as long as I've, everything fits in my macros. I can eat whatever I want to. Well, technically, maybe do the letter, yeah, you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits within your macros. But we need also need to go back to the quality of that food as to whether or not you should be eating that in the first place. Ho-hos, Twinkies, cupcakes, whatever, you know, is it really beneficial for you? Maybe you can and yeah, you've, you've played with the numbers and, and it made it all match. Um, my question to you would be, is it working? If it's not working, stop screwing around, keep it simple, go back to the basics, eat real food. Okay, if you want to count your macros, start with your protein. How much protein are you getting in a day? If you're at a caloric deficit, let's make sure you're getting enough protein. Okay, and then everything else is going to kind of fall in line making and make sure you're not going over your calories for the day. Okay, macro counting, exactly what it sounds like. Carb cycling, you got to know how many carbs you're getting in a day, so in, in a certain extent, you're already counting your macros. You know um, within carb cycling, you know, ideally how many grams of protein you're getting, kind of fat and, and, and your carbs to manage and maintain your calorie level. Okay, cycling is exactly what it sounds like. You might have one day at a higher level of carbs, you might drop it down for a day, drop it down again, drop it down again. What's happening that whole time? You're cutting back on your total calories, creating over time a caloric deficit. So. Whether you stay at the same level every day of a caloric deficit counting your macros or whether you're going up and down with carb cycling, if you're trying to lose body fat, the net result is, over, is the same over a period of time. You're cutting back your calories, you're at a calorie deficit, whichever one you're using, losing body fat. Okay, Carb cycling, it's, a, it's an interesting approach. Uh, if you think about it, is you're going to eat for what you need to do. Maybe those days that you've got heavier weights, um, maybe leg day or something like that. Are you going to go do a, a much longer run or walk or something? That might end up being your higher carb day to give you a little more energy for that day. So you've got a recovery day the next day. Hey, do you really need as many carbs or as many calories on a rest day? You don't. So you can cut it back. It's, it's, that's all there is to it. You're cutting back your calories. You're eating for what you need to do. Okay, if you want to count everything, awesome. You know, that's going to help you know. Remember, if you want to monitor something, you got to measure it to manage it. That way you can tell what's working and what's not and what you need to fix. Whichever way you want to choose, stick to it. If it works, it's good. Okay, let's not make it too difficult. Monitor it. Measure, manage. Hey, it's a new phrase. I don't know if it works or not. We'll see what happens. Okay? Any questions? Let me know. Leave me a note. Thanks.